what's going on everybody welcome back so today i'm going to be upgrading my cpu from the ryzen 5 3600x to the 5600x so what i gotta do here i gotta take the fan off my cooler here so we'll just go like that it literally just slides right off and it is connected to an rgb header all the way at the bottom so somewhere like right there so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna leave it there for now so next step i gotta do is i have to unmount the cooler the bracket so there's two screws on this side and there's two screws on that side so let me go ahead and take this off now there is going to be thermal paste that's obviously uh sitting between the um cooler uh well it's in contact from the cooler to the cpu so what I'm going to have to do is clean that thermal paste um, and then install the new CPU. So let me go ahead and uh, take this thing off. So I, I am going to unscrew all four. So I'm just going to start off with this one here. And it's going to, it's clipped in the back so it's gently, it just pushes up. So what I'm going to do is uh, loosen these here. So I'll go like this and then I'll loosen this side here is right over here okay so we'll get those right there let me do the other two and we'll be back so i went ahead and i unscrewed uh, both sides so all four screws and let's pull that up and see what happens here we are so there is the thermal paste you can get a look at that on the cooler and of course the thermal paste on the CPU itself. There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unclip it. I'm going to pull this down, this lever, and pull it up. And there it is. The CPU is released. So we'll take this out here. And there you have it. There is the Ryzen 5 3600. And let's go ahead and install our 5600. Okay, so here we are. We have the Ryzen 5 3600. It's all nicely cleaned. The cooler is also clean. I usually use um, isopropyl alcohol. I know some people also use Windex. I mean, either or. Or if you use a uh, a um, a fine grade um, paper towel, that should also do the trick. But you want to avoid using water. So there's that one. Put that back in the box, and we'll check out the other one. Enter the Ryzen 5 5600X. Uh, this one is a six core, 12 thread. We got a 4.6 gigahertz max boost and a 3.7 gig base. So not bad at all. This great graphic required. We have our own graphic card. Um, here it is. So I picked this one up for 439, so 440. And it's interesting because the retailers, I saw it going for obviously when it launched, it was 420 Canadian. And then uh, now it's up by 10 bucks for 30, but I mean the retails do play around with their pricing. Of course, they want to they want to make their money too. And in terms of the thermal paste, I have the the Corsair TM30 performance thermal paste. Uh, you know, you literally just use a little dab, a pea-sized drop will do the trick. So let's uh, put the thermal paste on there. I do have my uh, cooler here for the heat sink, the 212 Evo black edition so we're, uh, we're gonna throw this on there and reinstall the fan so let's get that done okay here we are so in my case it's gonna go like this so the ryzen the corner that's cut here at the bottom right over here that's going to sit at the right hand top corner so right top corner if we're looking at it from this angle so I'm going to place it like that, we line it up, you'll notice that it, uh, you'll see that it kind of sits in place nice and firm, and then we're going to close this down, voila, so we have that installed, nice and firm there, it only installs one way so you can't, so you can't mess up, okay, so got the CPU in there, I got my thermal paste, so let's pull the trigger, try to get a pea sized drop, Add a little dab more here. Yeah, that should do the trick. 
a little pea sized drop has a little bit of a line there, but that should be perfect. And I try to center it because it is going to expand. So then it, if you put too much, it's going to leak from the sides. You don't want that. Um, so a pea sized drop, this should do the trick. And then of course, my uh, aftermarket cooler. So you'll see this, this part is going to have direct contact with the CPU. And uh, I had already installed it, of course. So I'm just going to place it like that. I'm going to line up the uh, screws the best you can there. Okay, so those two are there. And those two are over there. So what I usually try to do is I try to kind of uh, make sure that the opposite ends are in first, then it's much easier to install. So I'll have that, this side at the bottom, and then the opposite side at the top here. So it, 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 it catches, so we're gonna tighten that. And then you can move along and do this side right here. So again, the opposite ends. So we're just gonna make sure we tighten that. You gotta give it a bit of a push because the uh, screw has to sit in the uh, holder down there. And then we'll do this side right here. So we're gonna make sure they're nice and uh, fastened so the heat sink doesn't move anywhere. There we are, so that's good to go. And as far as the fan, um, as I mentioned earlier, it literally just clips over here. So you can make sure that both sides are lined up there and then it just slides on. It just slides on there. Make sure the wires are nice and fastened and not in the way of anything. I'll push the fan down a little bit. So we fire it up. We got everything running. We got our 5600X under the RGB cooler. We've got a 3070 and we got our 16 gigs of RAM installed and everything is good to go. So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching this one, guys. Um, uh, this actually, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to uh, flash the BIOS on the X570 MSI because that took me a while. I was under the assumption as the website read that it would, uh, I would have no issues running the fifth, uh, 5000 series, but apparently I did. So that kind of caught me off guard. Um, and yeah, that brings us to the end of this one. Again, as always, uh, stay safe, be well, and we'll see you in the next one. Alrighty, peace.